So this is a dry bag. Should be completely waterproof and airtight. So I filled it up with air and we'll see that after a minute or two the um, air starts coming out of it. It's got a leak in it. So there you can see the air has come out. So we've got quite a, quite a number of small leaks in it and we're going to show you how to fix them. Okay, the first job is to turn the dry bag inside out. In fact, we've got lots of patches on here. But um, there are more holes than there are patches. So you need some tubes of Stormshore Flexible Repair Adhesive. And what we're going to do is we're going to dilute this with solvent and then paint it on. We're just squeezing the whole tube into a tin Then we will add some solvent and we're going to use ethyl acetate. We're going to mix it up now. You need to mix it for two or three minutes to get it really well mixed up. This looks a bit white because there was a bit of white paint on the paintbrush, but for no other reason. Okay, so we want a nice thin, watery sort of consistency. Now we're going to uh, paint it onto the inside which is of the dry bag. Hang it out to dry. Clip those two bits together and then just hang it over something handy. And we'll leave that to dry for 10 or 15 minutes. So you can see this part has been coated and this part has not yet been coated. We're going to do that later. But that's now a little tacky, but it's touched dry. It's not sticking to me. No, it's all dried, and we're going to now put, uh, turn it back the right way round, and then we put a little bit of talcum powder inside in case it's a little bit tacky at the surface. So we've got some talcum powder there. Just put a half a spoonful in, shake it round on the inside, and that's the job done. Give it a blow. There we are. Three refurbished dry bags.